back to News Geelong as we move into the world of Geelong sport with Mitch Scoop Cleary. Davis Cup fever has certainly hit Geelong, Mitch, and you are one of the fortunate media reps to be right in amongst the action and personalities. Thanks, Rollo. I had a great day today and I'm looking forward to the weekend. First up tonight, we're down where all the action is taking place, where we speak to Tennis Australia marketing manager Steve Ailes about the announcement of Bernard Tomic as the Medibank Junior Development Ambassador. It was Steve Ailes, great day for Tennis Australia with Medibank coming on as the official naming rights for the Junior Development. Yeah, look, Medibank have been synonymous with tennis for eight, nine years as a, a name and right sponsor of Sydney. Um, they've been involved in grassroots in New South Wales. They, they signed up for the Australian Open this year for the first time for three years. So a fantastic partner to have. And, uh, and now, as you've seen today, we've announced that they're actually uh, a three-year partnership as name and rights of the Junior Development Series right throughout Australia. So 250 tournaments. It's all the sort of pathway to the, to the points events. It's their first uh, sort of foray into competition and it's something that uh, we're very proud to have them on board for. Yeah, important to have a partner like Medibank to really uh, develop the kids and get them to the next Bernard Tomic and the like. Yeah, the whole pathway, it's important that um, that there's there's somewhere and, and a partner that actually they can relate to in terms of the healthy, active uh, lifestyle part. So from our perspective, Medibank investing more money into tennis, which enables more juniors to have that opportunity to become Bernard Tomix, Leighton Hewitt, Sam Stoza, whatever they might be, we think it's fantastic and we're, we're really grateful to have them on board. We've had a bit of a decline in uh, the, the standard of uh, male men's tennis in the last few years. Do you think it's really on the improve now with these juniors? coming through? Well you've seen, um, you know, the Wimbledon junior winner was Luke Saville, also won the Australian Open juniors. Um, we've got Ashley Barty was the Wimbledon junior winner, so I think there's no question that the next, uh, the next group of juniors is coming through and I think Bernard will actually be one of the people they'll look up to. Um, uh, you know, from, from, you know, w he looks up to Roger Federer, they'll look up to Bernard Tomic and there's no question we've got more juniors um, in the ITF rankings now than we've had for many, many years. So I think the, the the, the, the wheels turn in and I think uh, we're ready to get some more champions. Yeah. And it's important to have a, a man like Bernard Tomic as the ambassador, as you said, for these kids to, kids to live up to. Yeah, look, on court, he's the perfect role model. Um, you know, he's a, he's a professional, he's a great athlete, obviously a great tennis player. And I think, as I said, how he looked up to Roger, these guys will be will be looking up to him. A lot of the juniors we've seen today um, hitting around the tennis courts, I think their sort of hero will be, will be Bernard Tomic. And how have you seen the preparations going uh, on down here in Geelong and the setup that they've got going with the grass court and the 3,000 seats? Yeah, look, Geelong's been fantastic. Whenever we take it outside a major capital centre, we get great support from the community. Um, the Geelong Tennis Club here, the facilities are fantastic. Um, the stadium, we know, will be absolutely full. There won't be a seat in the house come Friday. And I think there'll be a lot of support for Australia. And of course, if we can win this, then we're back on the way to the World Group. Now we're down to Kadinya Park to speak with Geelong Cricket Club coach Damien Shanahan as Geelong swept Hawthorne Monash Uni in all four grades and look ahead to the big clash against St Kilda this weekend. Mother Nature got the best of you guys on the weekend, not much you could do about it, uh, losing to Pran in the one day final. Yeah, devastating really. Um, we got ourselves in a really good position. We bowled fantastically well uh, to keep them to 220 on a really fast outfield and a uh, really good wicket. And then obviously being three for 60 or something around that mark um, when the rains came. It was extreme disappointment for uh, everyone involved and, uh, and for all three sides, all uh, lower ranked losers. So hopefully uh, the powers to be can sort of come up maybe with the reserve day and uh, in the future years to come. Because uh, the last two years it's been a, uh, a washout with Carlton winning the Premiership last year without bowling the ball and then obviously praying this year. So, But they're the rules. Um, Anyway, we sort of butter up and we move forward. Saturday's game against Hawthorne Monash Uni, not only you guys got the double points, but the uh, all four grades, so it's great for the club championship going forward. Absolutely fantastic uh, to get the outright nice and early on, on Saturday morning. 
Uh, I thought our boys really turned up to play this week. Um, last week we sort of let Hawthorne back in the game a little bit. Probably uh, dropped our standards, to be truthfully honest, and maybe down to their sort of standards. And we really focused in on that on uh, Saturday and made sure that we kept our standards really high and uh, we executed really well. And obviously Jeremy Hart's 10 wickets for the game is phenomenal and a couple of missed chances as well. So it could have been absolutely anything. Um, yeah, to wipe the floor with them of all four sides was fantastic bonus for us for the club championship now we're set in a really good position uh, just a little bit of uh, clear way at the top with some uh, tough competition coming up in the last three rounds We've got a few guys making a few runs in the twos are they pushing for selection or uh, we're going to keep the same side in, in the next week or so yeah, absolutely. Michael Condy, 130 last week, just keeps backing it up. Um, he's ready to go. It's just very hard to get in at the moment. We've won the last seven games. We've got a pretty settled side. Um, you know, obviously Finch is coming back and forth. Merrick Buchanan's coming back and forth. So we're just looking forward to Michael uh, eventually getting his opportunity. If it's not this week, it might be the next week. It might be the week after. But we really need him to be ready to go. Um, and he's a really, you know, a 10-year player for us in the making coming through. Um, the other the boys and just looking at statistics the other night they're all averaging over 40 with the bat and up to 50 to 60 with the bat in the seconds um, so it's great to have that strength coming through um, but you know it's just about that those guys getting that opportunity at the moment and it's great position the club to be in because we're very strong and just a comment on St Kilda this week pretty powerful side uh, in the first and most grades Pretty important to back it up and make it eight on the trot for you guys. Absolutely. St Kilda are you know, a little bit down the ladder. as Normally they're right up and amongst it. Um, they're a dangerous side. They're an experienced side with uh, some you know, fantastic players and Rummins and so forth. So you know, it's going to be another big challenge for us to get over this week. They'll be hungry to knock us off. Um, and obviously our four sides are going to be up against it. And it'll be really uh, good if we can get over St Kilda and then head into the last two rounds. Thanks, Shanners. That's all we have time for in sport tonight. But for now, it's back to you, Rollo. Thank you, Mitch. We look forward to your continued coverage of the Davis Cup tie between Australia and China being held here in Geelong this weekend. And now for all the weather expected over Geelong and Surf Coast for the next six days. For the weekend, tomorrow, Saturday, we'll see partly cloudy conditions with scattered showers on the top of 21. Sunday will continue to be partly cloudy with further scattered showers on the top of 22. Starting off another new week of February, Monday will be partly cloudy, with isolated showers on the top of 23. Tuesday will continue with the cloud and isolated showers and an expected top of 24. Wednesday will see a partly cloudy day, with the sun breaking through for a hot 30 degrees, an extreme UV warning. Thursday will continue with the partly cloudy conditions and expected top of 27. Today we saw cloudy conditions continue with some showers and thunderstorms around with a top of 22. That's the weather outlook for Geelong and the surf coast. Thank you for joining us on News Geelong this evening. To all of our friends out at the South and Central Rehabilitation Units at the McKellar Centre, led well by Tommy Beggs, remember guys, Take your time and smell the flowers. From all the team at News Geelong, enjoy the rest of the evening. Have a pleasant and safe weekend and a very good night. <laughs>